Hello Aris, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in this uh, video we're gonna check into your week 18th up until uh, 24th of uh, July 2022nd and uh, what experiences you're gonna have throughout the week and uh, should you find yourself uh, interested to have a personal reading with me you can always go to my website uh, which you're gonna find in the description down below and uh, there at the very front page you will see full list of my services and as well their pricing so with that said uh, let's make the draw and see what kind of uh, cards you do have for the week so the first one that is going to be the knight of uh, wands it says prince but princes are princes in this deck in this deck are knights in the traditional deck so you do have the Knights of Wands, uh, first one followed by the Five of Swords as the second. Uh, moving on next, we do have the Four of Swords. And the final card for you, Aries, that is going to be the Devil. Those four cards. Well, Aries, you are off to a quite an enterprising week. Or what I mean and how the Knight of Wands itself shows as your environment, it is that the week is going to present you with an enterprising events. Events uh, which you're going to find quite interesting, events which you are going to be quite eager to take a part of as well. Now, important thing though is to measure carefully, I would say, your capabilities. So without a, a doubt, the week is going to offer you, let's say, more than you can handle. It is because one can do just so much if you want to say one can have only 24 hours a day, right? And the question is going to be which enterprising event, which endeavor is going to be better than the others. Now, luckily for us, the Four of Swords and the Five of Swords are very adamantly and as well, well how can i put it into words accurately let's put it that way is showing us or is showing to you um, how to scale up the events that are going to be better than others for you now the five of swords sits into a position that it deprives you of while the four of swords sits into a position that helps you with and uh, these two cards being bond together it kind of shows that uh, through a I would say through sharing up what you are, what you are planning to do through sharing up with faithful companions the events that are presented to you whether these are dates whether these are uh, projects whether these are a kind of like a just isolated events uh, with the faithful companions these people will be able to help you scale and straight away they are going to scale for you which events are going to be better than others and that is important why well it is because under the energy of the of the knights of wands uh, one has a momentum which is a finite momentum meaning that if you are scampering around uh, many enterprises trying from everything just to see what works for you better than the other it's very likely that halfway through the week you guys are going to find yourself being burned out to a point where you would not want to see anybody to a point where you would want you would not want to enjoy life to a point where probably you will not want to even go out and have a cup of coffee with a friend or with with a colleague and so on and so forth Another way how we can look at those cards with the Four of Swords sitting there and the Five of Swords sitting into the second position, it is that if these events are very important, say for your a, a career growth or say for the stability of your marriage, here the Four of Swords really urges you if there is such a person to seek it and that is a person of a profession or help like a physician, like a lawyer, like, like uh, uh, an advisor, you know, marriage consultant, business advisor, solicitor, etc., etc. And that way, through a honest and open conversations, it seems that you will be able to, like I say, recognize which of these enterprising events are going to be yours, they're going to benefit you the most, and uh, that you're going to have, if you want to say, quite a fun being in them. 
Uh, another way why this is important is because under the energy of the Knights of uh, Wands, which sits into your environment, once you take a part of, there isn't going back from it. What I mean is that when the Knights of Wands invest into something, he is willing to go to the very end of it. And that is how your standpoint, that is how your attitude is going to be toward the event itself. Even if the event happens to be something of a loss, right? It's making you losing more than gaining. You still are going to have the attitude, at least for the duration of the week, to um, basically invest and invest and get to uh, get as far as you can as far as your capabilities are are making you to go for and that comes from the very five of swords which is into like i said the second position that is what deprives you of that is what holds you back and so the cherry of the cake guys why you know what, what toward what end all this is happening well we do have the devil at the end and uh, the devil stand the devil stands for the satiation of thy hunger you know you may be hungry for love you may be hungry for power you may be hungry for for money right you may be hungry for freedom whatever wherever your hunger lies there is a very big chance if you choose carefully which enterprising events for you to to invest into to satiate those hungers and regardless what those hungers of yours are or let, let's say yearnings right regardless what those yearnings of yours are they are gonna gift you with a power to dictate the circumstances within the enterprises to uh to call shots and to exert indomitable presence that nobody will be able to pretty much um question it challenge it stand it and so on and so forth so what boil really downs to is can i put it into words here what boil that what boils down to is is one to recognize that second opinion or a objective opinion outside of our environment is going to go for a long run because the five of swords in that particular case stands for its the very generic uh, meaning here okay and that is a bit of victory that is when you surpass or when thou surpasses thy uh, thy limits not recognizing that you know they they have um bit um, a, a larger piece that they can chew up and swallow down and thou find thyself with uh, way too much uh, to handle uh, additionally to to this as well the five of swords kind of like carries on a little bit of a incentive here to uh, abuse thy power like you to abuse your power over people which are lower than you are for example if you are a, a team leader or if you are a boss into your work as well just so they can be uh, they can be directed these people to be directed to your yearnings which may not be the most ethical way to get it okay that's why maybe it will be a time for you to consult yourself with a professionalist with a professional <laughs> with a professional into the topic and into the field that you are trying to chase those yearnings but suffice to say here you are going to have the opportunities which are going to be quite enterprising and exciting as well it all comes to that are you going to invest yourself into the right ones and so with that said uh this is your weekly title reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye